All right, well, let's call the meeting to order. It's uh, 7 o'clock, 7.01. Uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. And to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. For all. Yeah. That was nice with the echo. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go into the minutes. Um, I know, uh, Mike, Mike, you're just taking a look at them. Um, I wasn't at the meeting last month, like I said, but I did. I just have a question, uh, Mike, about under old business. It says yeah. there was an RFP request dated March 31st, 2020, and it closed on January 1st, 2020. That's, Why a, we... that's a long – no, that was um... – it should have been March 31st, 2019, no? 19. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, because it, yeah. it wouldn't have closed three months before it even opened. Right. And the other yeah. thing is it says for altercations. I don't think there was altercations. There's oh, yeah. Other... I missed that. <laughs> for alter... With the transfer station plant. It's probably alterations, alterations no? Alterations. Yeah, for alterations. alterations. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. That's all right, Josephine. You do an excellent job. <laughs> I mean, I just noted that, and, you know, I was looking through them. Yeah, so. thanks. I mean, that's the only thing that jumped out at me. Other than it seemed like, Mike, you asked for an awful lot of uh, information about different stuff that really doesn't pertain to you. It's more about the parks department. What, what's that? No, I said, there's, I said, I was going through the minutes. I saw a lot of information that was requested of Mike that really has to get from the, the public works or, you know, but on that, I mean, it looked like everything, everything looked good to me. I don't know if there's anybody else who has any. Yeah, uh, there's one. Uh, there's one thing on the last page. It said organic recycling yearly summary. Mm-hmm. It was fourteen hundred dollars in savings. Not, oh, not twenty four hundred dollars. Yeah. Fourteen. There was probably fourteen times twenty fourteen hundred in savings. Yeah, fourteen hundred. That's just fourteen tons. That's a fourteen tons of right. organic waste. Okay. Yeah. Mike, that's why I asked you to go over them. That's it's very hard yeah. to hear something. So we want to rectify that. Um, you said fourteen hundred, not twenty four. Correct. Okay. Will you be sending us the updated minutes, Josephine? Well, once what we we just have to uh, have a motion to accept them and as they are and approve I'm them. I'm going to send. I'll, I'll send out the minutes from tonight. You mean, yeah? Yes, well, that's what she does. She sends out the minutes from tonight, and in yeah. those minutes, it'll say that some changes were made to the previous yeah, yeah. minutes. You're going to amend them. You haven't finished yet, so you're right. going to amend them in minutes. I know. I want to make sure they're sent. So, okay, so Mike and I asked about a couple well, of changes. Does anybody else have any other changes? I know, uh, Joe, if you had a chance to look through them, if anybody has any yeah, other Yeah, I did. I just, is it still, going back to that, is it 14 tons? Is that still correct for, for 14 tons? Correct. Months? Okay. So 14 tons and $1,400 in savings. All right. That's, it. that's fine. I read it pretty quickly. I think it's – I didn't see anything. Josephine does excellent work. Rarely she makes a mistake. Very good. The old um, type does anybody else have any uh, omission, uh, corrections or omissions from the minutes? Okay, um, if not, the, only, the, the, only, the only comment that I have um, is that the items that are on the new business of the old minutes should be on – the old business for tonight's minutes. Isn't that correct? Because we have a number of items on there for new business. Um, Misty was requiring us to the operator meeting. Mike was going to follow up with the director of public works in Westport. That's all. That was all. That was all new business of last month. Shouldn't that be on today's old business? Well, that on, doesn't. On, that on doesn't agenda. No, I mean. Uh, Hugh, that doesn't affect the minutes. That just affects when we get to the agenda and we start going to old business to bring that up. Okay, but on our old business agenda, we only have two items on it, so that's, that's why I'm kind of a little, I'm a little concerned. Well, the new business, the uh, recycling prices and the uh, compactor delay, that was... Yeah, but how about to yeah, follow up with Peter? How about to follow up with Peter Rekowitz of the Public Works in Westville? We talked about that, and also yeah. the operating meeting. That's that's Excuse recycling. Me. Excuse me, can we just Prices. hold up for that for a minute? Obviously, yeah. Mike sends on an agenda. We can amend the agenda. Okay. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's go ahead. Let's approve. Let's get a motion to approve the minutes in a second. Well, okay, I I I don't know what I'm supposed to jump in and say something, but um, 
where it says Misty Byer updated the commission regarding the Bridgeport Interlocal Regional Committee, which yes. she attended. I'm, I didn't attend the meeting. I, I didn't attend it. I just got on their list to, and I just start. Um, I just got their first meeting notice. I didn't attend anything. Okay. How do you want this? What, what's the amendment you're looking Where for? It shouldn't say which she attended. It should just say she updated the commission on the regarding. Where is I, that? I don't know. Is that on their second, new business? Second page. Second says you visited. Second page. She this visited. This is the new business <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. What? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. There's two. You have new business, and then you have new business again. Oh yeah. And and it says it's yeah. it's at I think it's right yeah. before the page, right? Or no, the right. third page. It's the new. It's at the bottom second. left sentence. All right. So it's all in the new business, right? So where? Yeah. What? Which paragraph are you speaking it's, about? It's the second. It's the second new business section. The last line. The last line. This, Thank you. Yeah. And so what do you want me to amend there? Well, you didn't attend. Well, I didn't, that, no, no, I didn't attend. I just, I just. Um, she contacted them. She contacted them. Them and got on their mailing or email list so that I could Soda. report on it. But they're okay, not me. Period. Instead of which she attended, it would just be he contacted and joined their mailing list. Right. So right after, uh, Josephine, right after it says Bridgeport Interlock Regional Committee, comma, who she contacted and joined their mailing list. Thank you, Misty. Okay. Does anybody have anything else under the corrections or omissions from the minutes? Is that, uh, yeah, I have a question on page three. Is that the same thing? Uh, is it, Miss, 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 Misty, are you referring to? It says in the middle of the page, she visited the Bridgeport Recycling into is that that is that what you're talking about? Because there's a statement there says she visited the Bridgeport Recycling Interlocking Committee meeting. Oh, it should be contacted. Yeah. Joe Wizard. Page it? three. Page three. Towards the middle of page three. The paragraph that starts with Misty Byer. Right. Oh, oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, she visited the Bridge. Yeah, I, I didn't visit the meeting. Right. Okay, so that, that's, that has to be corrected then. Page three. So she contacted the Bridgeport Recycling. So also, instead of visit, she contacted. Okay, got it. I just, and, I just and found something else. B-E-Y-E-R, not B-Y. That's all. Ms. Byers' all right. recommendation. Well, where do I have to go? Yeah, spelling is wrong. Okay. Okay, I've got another correction. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, in the same paragraph. Oh, okay. It's right, right before the misspelling on Miss Byer's name. It's got, yeah. it's got, it can reduce car, carbon footprints. It's footprints, not food prints. Yeah. Right, food, that's right, right, good. Mike, I gave you this minute to look over. And, I mean, this, yeah, I this missed is that. I try, I'm going to have to get, send them out to the commission before I, I go through this because sometimes it's very hard to hear all of this. Yeah. And I just want, no, I just want to state that I'm not rectifying what I did. I'm, I rectify what I did, obviously. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have to have somebody's eye on this before they go out okay. to the commission. Yeah, I, There's too many I of these little, small little things happening and, uh, you know, and it's always, right. uh, I gave them to you, Mike, to look over, yeah. and now all I apologize. of a sudden, I missed, you know I missed what I'm a saying? bunch of things. Josephine? Yes? Josephine, you're doing a good job, and, and, and that's okay. Oh, if, you I, want, if, not, if you want to send a draft to us, I don't think that the chairman would, would, would object to that. Right, chairman? No, I don't have a problem. Yeah, I, I think okay. that would be a good idea. If you want to send a draft to the commission and let them send, a, send your comment to you, that way you have yes. all the ducks in order. That that's good. good. Just not while we're still on Zoom. I think that's the best thing to do, um, you. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we had a lot of questions today. Not a big deal. And I think we've gotten everything we need, correct? If, uh, if I there's no more I think a motion we accept. Motion from Hugh to accept. Second. Do I have a second? Joe seconds it. Joe second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any, anybody opposed? Uh, Charlie, I have to abstain because I wasn't there for the minute, so I don't know if they were correct okay. or not. Who made the motion? Was that you? You made you. the motion. Joe made the second. 
Okay, and great. Because I didn't attend the meeting. Right. All right, we're all set. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to move on to old business. Um, we'll start off with the recycling prices. The compactor will be next, and then if there's anything we missed, we'll, we'll pick it up from there. So, Mike, you want to talk about the recycling prices? Yeah, the recycling prices, the tip fee, went from 87.34 to 78.46. So it, they again? lowered the price by eight dollars and eighty-eight cents a ton. It was that what? Uh, I'm sorry, 86 to 74. Seventy-eight forty-six. Oh, eighty-six. It was eighty-seven thirty-four. Okay, yeah. sorry. And they changed it to seventy-eight dollars and forty-six cents. Okay. All right. Any questions? No, well, nice. Yeah, seat. Mike. Mike, that's good news. Why is it going down? Because of the market. The market was uh, better on some of the other materials like some of the uh, plastics or the paper, the markets. It's all based on markets. So what they're extracting out of those, they're getting more of a return on it? Correct. Okay. Were these changed quarterly? Did you say they were going to change quarterly? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what is that going to do to our uh, budget? Well, if it uh, it could. What, what's the dollar impact on a, on, a, on a projected budget? I'll have to look at the... Uh, Hold on one second. Because we're going down, we're going down almost ten dollars. I mean, nine dollars is up. In. Bear with me. I have to go into. Uh... Yeah, eight dollars, eight dollars and eighty-seven cents, something like that. So. Um, one second. Single stream recycling. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm looking right here. Um, okay. This can't be right. Okay, but you can... I'll have, you, to, I'll we, have to get back to you we can, we can move. We can move on, but let me ask you two questions, well, if, you, if you don't mind. Who, who notifies sure. us that, that there's a change? Who notified you? Pete Rakowicz. Oh, that's the fellow in uh, Westport, Westport. You, that's the fellow in Westport you were going to talk to. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, how do they calculate that change? How do we know that that's the right change, the right number? I mean, how do we know that it shouldn't be like, you know, 7746 or 7646? Did somebody review in there, yeah. their ins and outs? Who's a spreadsheet. Yeah, Pete, Pete Rakowicz was getting it. Rakowicz. Pete Rakowicz of Westport. Now, is he, what is he, is he part of the uh, Southwest Regional? Yeah. Yeah, he's part of a group. I mean, but what is the group that, what's, what's the name of the group that's telling us that it's now 7846? Is that uh, Oak Ridge. Oak, Oak, Oak Ridge Sanitation. That's the place where we bring our recyclables to. Okay, so this is from Oak Ridge. He doesn't, he, but he works for Westport, right? Correct. Is this so coming why, are we getting, why are we getting this right from Oak Ridge? Why, 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 don't, why aren't we communicating right with, from them? I'm just so I understand the process. They go through Pete, who's the, uh, I guess he's the president of our group, or he's the leader of our group. Which is named what? What's the name of the group? The, the old Southwest Regional Operating Committee. Hold on one second. So 
Southwest Regional Operating Committee. Yeah, it used to be Swear Rock. The Swear Rock is sure. still alive. Yeah, this is the Greater Bridgeport Regional Recycling and our local. Right. So this is where you contract with Oak Ridge for this group. Yes. Okay, so Oak Ridge makes it. They're the ones doing. They're the ones uh, taking our stuff. They're the ones deciding what is going to, what, what their revenue is going to be from it. They notify uh, Pete, and then he does a spreadsheet based on tonnage, based on tonnage of the community they, they them, members. They give him a spreadsheet of the. Uh, hold on one second. Let me see this here. Hold on. Yeah, I'll have to uh, show you the. Uh, I'll have to send you the spreadsheet because I'm okay. going back into the. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, this is perfect. I'm going Chairman, in, into. Uh, Chevy, you don't mind if he you don't you don't mind if he sends us a copy of the spreadsheet, right? Um, that's fine. That's okay, fine. good. Okay, perfect. Thank you, um, Mike. And so, just so you realize, I mean, Mike, what we're talking about here is we're getting we get, we're getting paid less per ton for recycling because recycling is. Yep, paying less. It, we're paying less. Yeah, we're going to pay less. We're going to pay nine dollars less a ton. Right. To get rid of eight eighty eight. Eight eighty eight a ton. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's less. Less. Correct. Seventy eight forty six per ton. That's what we're they're charging us. Right. Okay. Correct. So I think we're fairly clear on that. You're going to get the spreadsheet out. What about uh, if we move on to compactor delay? I think that, I read in the minutes about the switch or something. Um. No, that was something else. But the uh, I got an email last week from the owner or the president of Reaction Distributing, and basically he said the delay was 100% COVID-19. The U.S. Canadian border still remains closed to all but essential traffic, and there's no way we can we could legally force our technicians to travel to a COVID-19 hot zone. So. So that's why it was so late. Mike. That's why it was so late. Well, let's do one person at a time. Misty, you had a question there? Yeah. Okay. So that's explaining why it was so late in, 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 in installing that this summer, right? That's yes. what we're talking about. Correct. Okay. And, and then the install date on the second compactor, well, how about the first and second? What's the install date? The actual install date for both of them? The install date was, uh, it was a Friday the 13th in uh, September. For the first one, and then what about that, the second? No, one? that was that was no, uh, no. six months before that. Yeah, I gave. I believe I gave that uh, out to the previous commission meetings. Okay, I will check. Okay, I'll, never mind. Ne never mind. I'll look it up if it's if it's in our minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so, he did. You you had a question? I do, Mike. Uh, the the issue, if I recall correctly, is the night of our commission meeting in July. You spoke with. The, the owner of the company that day, and we asked you, we asked you, is everything on track? Now, we're already well into COVID, and many of the areas have been locked down. And you spoke to him that day, and he told you, yep, everything's okay. We're going to get it installed, and it was going to be installed within another month. What happened from that point to make it delay three and a half months? That's what we, that's, that's what we were concerned with. That's, that's what we didn't understand. Sure, we we all know course. that... Go ahead. We all know that, that that you know metals have been problems and all that kind of thing. But but they knew that they knew that uh, the the borders were being you know more regulated. They knew that essential workers were being um, allowed in. I mean, this is obviously these are essential workers, right? All of these workers are essential workers. This is essential industry. And, and we spoke about that at the meeting in July. I remember clearly. And you assured us that you talked to them. So we did. You, what, what did you get from July? Him? Did we? Yeah, we had a meeting that we had a meeting in July the night that you had spoken to him that morning about the installation progress, and they had told you everything's on track. So that's what our concern was the last meeting as to what happened. Why, 
because we wanted to know why we paid a thirty thousand dollars overtime. We, we had we had to continue paying. Can right? I, I follow up a question on that, Joe? Sure. Yeah. The uh, what about the program? Programming problem that they had for the compression. Yeah, well, no, no, that's a different. Let's let's get to no, that in a minute if you don't mind. Thing. That's on the same. That's I the understand. Same problem. But let's get to that if if you don't mind. We first want to. Yeah, but that's old business. It's still part of the same thing. They don't have trouble with it. Right. Yeah. All right. So go ahead. Mike, no, you Joe, got the... go ahead with your question. It's all part of it, and Mike can have, probably have the answer. Joe. Yeah, the, the delay. The, there was a delay, and it uh, has something to do with the, the program. Was uh, They needed to reprogram it for the pressure that the new compactor. Uh, well, that was just operations. That was Okay, so that, 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 was that had nothing to do that with was delay. That was just operations. Right, because no. it was – but how, well, how, how often was that how, – how long was that shut down for then with, because of that? It was an operation. Okay. If, if I remember correctly, this is you. If I remember yeah. correctly, the computer programming, we were we were hit with a surprise. They said that we had to change the computer, the computer and the programming that they that the one that they had uh, had installed or had included with the system was inadequate for our operation, and so that was going to be a fifty six hundred dollar. I believe that was the number. Somebody has to correct yeah. me on it, but that was going to be All another right. fifty six hundred dollar increase, and so. You're right, Joe. That was another question. They're both leading to the operations of the of the compactor. But there was another question as to why we be surprised with this computer system update or enhancement that they should have known about. They they when bid they, it under they bid it under the project. Yeah, when they originally installed it. Yeah. That should have been right. And what we had asked you to do is find out what our recourse is in the contract, because when Brian was there, when he came to the commission, he told us that contract is ironclad. That stuff is going to be installed and it's going to work, and he's made sure that the contract is ironclad and we will be protected. I remember those words clearly. Yeah, okay, So, but that's, but that's a question for Brian Carey, and he's not on this call. No, I understand that, but that's what Mike was going to find out. Mike was going to find out what happened, what, why, why we weren't aware of the computer program and the software change, and why the president of the company had represented to him in that before that meeting in July that everything was on everything was on target. Yeah, and I understand what you're saying. I just think that um, I don't know that Mike will be able to answer this because he was that was, was just an, that was just an add-on thing that they said we could do an additional add-on. What, the computer program? Yeah. Oh, we don't need it? As far as I know, we don't need it. No. Oh, okay. That's the the guys, just have, the guys just have to get – the guys, the workers just have to, I guess, get used to the different materials. Okay. I still don't understand why it happened. I can, I can say this much. I was down – I've been down the transfer station a few times in the last month, and I talked to the guys who work on the compactors, and they said everything's wor- working flawlessly. It's good. I don't know if anybody's heard any other issues. So, no, Mike, we did, get, we did get that computer installed, right? Hold on a second, because Misty was no. talking. <laughs> Let people talk. Misty, what were you saying? So, is there any overtime at this point, now that the two compactors no. are installed? No, the only – the only there's no overtime with the compactors. The only overtime that may we may incur is the day after Christmas, which is a Saturday. I think we're going to open all day. To be fair to our residents and our haulers, because the day after Christmas is a Saturday. If we're only open a half day, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> okay, but that, that, that's for the convenience. Of, that's, that's so that our haulers can get their get their loads unloaded. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Missy, your answer. You got your question answered. Yeah. It looks like you. Uh, with the the uh, overtime has been resolved, right? Correct. And that was resolved Correct. when the second contact was put in. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. So we're still under old business. Uh, is there anything other old business that we haven't touched on? Yeah, I have a question. Um, so I just for understanding. At, so at this point, Mike, uh, to adjust for the different materials that are going in, that's going to be adjusted manually rather than by a program. <coughs> Is that correct? 
Say that again. I'm sorry. Yeah, to adjust to fade it out. for the, the variance in the pressure on the different materials, the wastes that are going into the compactor, how is that? Because there was supposed to be a program to, to adjust for that, but now that's done by, by manual, right, by the workers? Yeah. Okay. And that's working yeah. okay? Yeah, as far as I know. They just okay. have to tweak it. They have to tweak and it. Plus, okay. plus it's a, a – when the guys used to take the uh, – they had garbage in the trailer – they could yeah. walk on the side of the trailer and tap on the trailer, and they could feel where the garbage was. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, just by the, just by the echo. Okay. We used to watch them do it all the time. So yeah. As idea. long as they're plus, confident in that. Plus, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Plus, yeah. on the flip side. Yeah. What they used to do is when the guys would come in with the garbage trucks and the recycling trucks and say, "How much you got on the truck? <laughs> Give me a weight." And the guys would know, based on their gross weight, how much they had, how many tons they approximately had. So the guy would know if four trucks came in at 15 tons, he's got 45 tons on there, and it's overloaded. You know? Well, wouldn't they know the weight by the scale? At the, scale, at the ticket scale? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why they, would you have they, to ask? They, why would you ask the guy what his weight is? Would, would he just put over the scale? Because they they weigh the vehicle up. You have the gross weight going in. Yeah. You don't have yeah. the net weight until you come out. Right. Oh, so you're approximating. Yeah, but all of those Correct. all of those vehicles they have a they have a set net weight. It's in the computer. Isn't it? Every we one have of those to, vehicles. Uh, a we set have tear weight? weight? No. No, no. All those all those garbage trucks have to be reweighed. Yeah, so they get the tear weight when they when they leave. Yeah. Right. Correct. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Correct. Because well, wait a minute. I don't, why, why would that make sense? A truck. A, ABC Carding uses a truck and goes goes up High Street and picks up a hundred houses. Don't they use? They usually use the same truck every day. Is it the same truck having the same tear weight? No. Maybe they put it right on the on most skills. I don't know. Any number of listen variants. to me. Here, here. I don't know. All right. I audited the haulers years ago, and there was they put steel beams in the trucks. Mm. They used to have places on the garbage trucks where you could set, you could put load the trucks up. Yeah. So they put, so they put, like say a thousand pounds or two thousand pounds of weight on their truck. They would weigh the vehicle in and keep their tear weight. After oh. that, they would remove those weights, and they would be getting a ton of trash free. Are that. they still Are they still doing that? It doesn't matter because we weigh the garbage trucks out yeah. every time. We weigh them in and we weigh them out. Right. I no no I understand that I understand but 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 what's 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 disconcerting to me is you said that. Would would Joe ask the question, how are we going to adjust for the uh, without the computer program? You you indicated that they go along the side of the trailer and they bang on it to find yeah. out how far it's filled. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then you say, well, then they ask the hauler how many pounds, how many, how many tons he has on board. So I was trying, looking for something that's much more automatic and mechanical that we should be able to know that if truck with the registration number 123X comes in, we should know that the tear weight of that vehicle is X number of pounds. And you say we can't depend on that. Yeah. The drivers know how much their truck weighs. Uh-huh. The guys know when they come in, they know their approximate tear weight. Yeah. So the guys know, the drivers know how much tonnage they have. Pretty Pretty accurate. That's the old movie haulers trick. You know, they used to load down, load down the, load down the. Uh, oh boy. Okay, let's move on. Okay. All right. Does, does anybody have anything other old under old business still? No. No. Okay. Um, we're gonna move on to new business. Before we start that, I want to. Uh, is Guy on the call yet? Yeah, I'm on the call. Oh, you're oh, yeah. guy? Good. So we have the full commissions here. Um, I just want to let, let folks know that Tim Belzer, uh, I, I know he's on this call, I believe. Uh, he, he went through the, the 
the selectmen, and I think he went to the RTM. I don't know that – if he went to the RTM, he should have just went to Betsy Brown and been sworn in as a new member of the committee. But, I, uh, Tim, that hasn't happened yet. I think uh, that it will be next week on the 14th. They will be yeah, voting. Were, he was just voted on today. Okay, so Tim will be in the meeting once he gets sworn what, in by Betsy. The RTM? Today? He'll be on the uh, call in January. Um, having said that, I served uh, a partial term of like two to three years before I did my last full term. So I've opted not to continue with the commission. I've enjoyed every moment with you guys. I mean, when I first joined this commission, um, Mike can tell you there was many, many times we'd show up there and everybody gets sent home because we didn't have quorum. And the dedication of the people around this court right now is just is, it's, uh, awe-inspiring. So I know I leave this board and uh, this commission in good hands and uh, whoever's going to be uh, leading it going forward. And, you know, Josephine, you've been a, a rock star. I know you had a bad day today, apparently, but other than that, it's always been... No, <laughs> I did. Stay plus in my mind. And, uh, Mike, yeah, you've, been a, you you've been a pleasure to work with, Mike. I know you get a lot of heat from nice. us about little nuances that really we shouldn't be attacking you for because they're not in your privy. And I know that... Uh, you know, you've done a you've done a tremendous job for this town, and everybody should be proud to have you Thanks. serving in your position. Um, so that's just my little spiel. I, I want to thank each and every one of you. I, I think you guys are all great. I think you're all dedicated, and I think that your hearts are all in the right place. So going forward, I hope you can be kind to Mike and to Joe Spiel. <laughs> thank you, Charles. <laughs> we, right. we love we love them both. Um, I want to move on to the new business. And the first item we have is elections of officers. So the first thing I'll do um, is I'll entertain um, uh, if there's any uh, nominations for chairman to the commission. Um, so how do we do this? Do we just nominate? I mean, um, well, I'm going to ask for nominations. Like, for example, last time when I ran, I think Guy volunteered to do it, and I, I got voted in because it was Guy's first meeting, basically. But, you know, Guy would probably be an excellent person to be the chair. And anybody okay. else that you guys feel would be an excellent person for the chair, um, nominate Hugh Dolan. So we nominate. have a Hugh, Hugh Dolan nomination. I second that, Joe. Well, we're not done yet. Hugh, okay. We have Guy. Who else? Nobody for Joe. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to do it. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I okay. Appreciate, I appreciate the honor. <laughs> no. have any, do we have any other nominations? All right. So we have Hugh and Guy. Um, are both of you willing to become chairman if you were voted in? Yeah. Hugh, would you be willing to be chair? Yes, I would. I would, I would be willing to. Guy, would you be willing to be chair? I would, Charlie. Okay, so it's going to come down to um, a vote. We have um, is that an attempt to influence the election by having all that noise. <laughs> <laughs> is that aluminum foil? <laughs> All right, so why don't we go? Why don't we go down the list then uh, with who we have on the on the call? We have, um, well, I guess you and, and Guy shouldn't. be, Well, you're probably going to vote for yourselves, so they each have one vote, I guess. Either they either that or they don't count. Um, Misty, um, I would suggest uh, I would vote for you. You vote for you, okay? I both, I, they're both great candidates. Yep. Andy, um, Andrew, I vote for uh, you. Okay. Uh, Joe? Uh, I vote for Hugh. Okay, so that's a slam dunk. Hugh, uh, congratulations. You're now the chairman. Thank you. Um, if you want me to continue through the offices, I could do that, Hugh, uh, uh, Hugh, or you could take over from here. No, you continue. You're doing a great job. You do a great <laughs> job. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the vice chair. Do I have any we, we don't, we, we don't, Charlie, we really don't want you. We, we really don't want to lose you. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I just felt like six, seven years was enough. It's time for me to do something else for the town. Yeah, um, we appreciate that, but we really don't want to use you. You're, you're a dedicated, dedicated person. No more dedicated than anybody else on this commission. Probably less so. Um, so nominations for vice chair. Um, well, I still would uh, nominate Guy. Is there any other nominations? Nominate Andrew. Is he? Does he want it? Uh, if if guy is interested, I, I'm I'd be happy to have him. Okay. No, I I I think someone else ought to do that. Go ahead, Andrew. Okay. All right. So so guys, withdrawing. We have uh, Andrew's nominated. Anybody else nominations? 
Anybody want to throw out Joe's name? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. This is my second term. I'm almost done. I got two more years. <laughs> this is my second term. You could be vice no. chair for two years. All no, right, so a, let's. Uh, a, all right. Well, I haven't said that. Okay, we'll go down the line again. Misty, you're okay with Andy? Yep. Uh, yep. Joe? Uh, yes. Or Misty. Uh, yeah, Andrew's fine. Okay. If he wants it, yeah. yeah well, Does he said he did. Okay. Guy? He's gone. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so we have, a, we have a majority for Andrew. Andrew, congratulations. You're now the vice chair. Okay, who made the motion and who seconded uh, Charlie? I think Charlie made the motion. Well, yeah, yeah I, made I made the, the motion for both, and you can put a second so down. Who seconded, who, who seconded Charlie? I did. Who's I? Q. Oh, well, Hugh, sorry. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh wouldn't put down the motion for himself. Uh, that would be uh, somebody else. No, 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 I'm talking talk about Andrew. We're talking about Andrew. Oh, okay. Okay. And they have a vote for both, right? They, they made the first motion for you, and now um, Charlie and you for Andrew, okay? Yep. Okay, got it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the important position of secretary. And so everybody's been talking about Josephine's mistakes today, but that's because she hasn't had a secretary actually to work with on this. So I would entertain a... No, I have. I know. Okay. Well, I did say a motion for secretary anyway to assist. I nominate Misty. Oh, that is so nice of you guys. <laughs> you <have> any... <laughs> uh, if I'm going to be secretary. Well, you oh, picked okay. up a lot of the errors. It's very good. Oh. <laughs> well, not errors. No, nope. not errors. Just... Them, huh? <laughs> yeah. Have a second. <laughs> I second, yeah, I second that. Miss, we're Miss going to work together to get this commission to get going here. <laughs> okay, so it's you and Joe. Um, all in favor of Misty? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, so we have our officers. We have you. We have, uh, as chairman, we have Guy. I mean, uh, Andrew is the vice chair, and Misty is the secretary. So, Misty, okay. you can get contact information from Josephine. You guys can work on the minutes together. And then if Josephine is unavailable because yeah. she's... Run around Ireland. Hopefully, when the COVID passes, you can do the minutes yourself. <laughs> okay, so we have now the schedule for next year, which Mike uh, graciously passed out to everybody. Yeah, looks good. Well, there's there's one thing I wanted to add. Is it possible that a couple of these months we put in two meetings so that we don't have to try and schedule? Um, a, sep- a second meeting because a lot of things sometimes sometimes a lot of things happen in between the meetings and they're like 30 days apart so if we had a, a meet, another meeting in say February and another meeting in April we would be more up to up to speed as to what's going on Does that sound oh, right? oh, what, we could, what you could do is yeah. you it's, could I could like schedule a, uh, a special meeting if necessary right uh-huh. Uh-huh. so that's what you could do. So you don't okay. need it. You don't need to okay. schedule it. Okay. Okay. If we can do if we can do that, Mike, can we please put something in before the hazardous waste in um, August? Because you've got June to September, and I think you know we should have been much more on top of the hazardous waste. Yeah, that, that's a long time. That's a long time and frame. So we need to have a, something. Maybe it's one of those special meetings to yeah, just well, we, make sure. Yeah, you, you you could call that any time. Special meetings. We've done that, but. Yeah, but why don't we just have? Why don't we just include a July meeting? Why don't we just put down a July meeting? Be, be, yeah, that's you, fine. That's, that's, yeah. That, that seems good, Mike. That we have a July meeting. Well, we do this. It's going to be probably in June. I want to get this uh, this. Uh... All right, we can if you want to have it in July. Uh, we'll it, here's July my meeting. suggestion because you are talking about the June 14th meeting, and usually the. The pickup or the hazardous waste day is in the beginning of August, correct? Right. No, it's yeah, it's the August. end of, no, end of think, August. Misty, yeah. I think the problem was that last year is the mailing went out incredibly late. Right. I mean, I got mine the day of the actual event, and some of you right, got right. it after it was over. So right. I think the problem was not so much having a meeting. I think the problem was not having the mailing go out early enough. So if, if we could put the feet to the fire June 14th, which is, by the way, Flag Day. I don't know why we're having a meeting on a holiday, but, <laughs> um, you know, I think we can get that, we can get that email out a lot faster. Yeah. 
that would be beneficial. Plus, they look for volunteers to, you know, we could get people to volunteer to, you know, work That's down there. It. I mean, why would you get volunteers on June 14th? You're going to, I don't know. I just think it's, a, it's, it's kind of an important event and it's something that the commission, you know, should really support. But whatever. Well, the commission I, does I, support I, it. I mean, anybody's welcome to go down. And by the way, and Mike will tell you this, uh, I've done it in the past. I don't know if anybody else on the commission has done it, but we, we have one day uh, a year down in New Haven, too, where I, right. I got a team together, went down, and, and we were responsible to supply the manhood, the, man, the man's men to do the uh, actual um, event down there. And so the I know people, last year, Mike, we didn't do it, right? Because well, of COVID. what happened because of COVID is the uh, – it, Regional Water Authority had Clean Harbors hire two people to work instead of the volunteers. So the amount of money they saved, we, I saved on paying guys to go up there and work, was a win for us. Right. Okay. It was because so, of the so COVID. The okay. So yeah. listen, why don't Misty? Can we can we come to this compromise? Why don't we, as a commission, make sure that we discuss that whole process in the April and May meeting to make sure that we're on track to what we want to do? And if we think okay. we need a special meeting, we, Michael, Mike can put it on the schedule, and, and we can and we can call it for uh, uh, the middle of July or the end of July. I mean, okay. the middle of June or the end of June. That's fine. That way, we're ahead of the curve. Does that sound reasonable? Okay. Yeah. 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 Now, okay. let me ask everybody, is there any, do you see any conflicts with any of the dates that we have on there? They're all Mondays. I don't see a, I didn't see any issues, but maybe somebody did. I didn't see any. No. And December's not in there because it's, it's a. Uh... They typically don't have a meeting in December because of the holidays. That's why they don't have them in July and August is to give uh, everybody a break. And a lot, what we found in the past, Misty, is a lot of yeah. people go on family vacations. And if oh. COVID ever gets under control, Probably half this commission won't be around during those. <laughs> yeah. Right now, we need a meeting because we want to get out oh, of the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, and yet not we on, can't. Not online. <laughs> I, know. A, but, I know. I know. What a time. Yeah, July and August time are tough. Those are tough months yeah. to have a meeting. Yeah, we bought a we bought a timeshare in St. Martin for fifty six dollars. Oh. Fifty six dollars. Wow. Really? Yeah. What week did you get? <laughs> Um, I think we got uh, uh, June. Yeah, but Mike, but Mike, by the time you get to enjoy, you're going to have to quarantine for 120 days. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll get a little bit long here, but uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, Entertain a motion to accept the dates as, as written. Motion. I, I make a motion. I second. Second by Joe. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All that was unanimous. All right, Mike, CCSMM work group workshop, or work group. Okay, just bear with me one second. It's a long name. It's Connecticut Coalition for Sustainable Ma Materials Management. Right. So, Missy, this was your item? Well, it's not really my item, but um, it's, it's a group I think we should really support. That, you know, the town needs to join this group. It's it's a coalition, and they've done some incredible webinars, and it's a way for us to, to interface with the, uh, you know, communities across Connecticut to find solutions for organics, glass, you know, source separating, cardboard. Misty, I mean, Misty, can I ask you what's involved in us joining? What do we need to do to join? Well, first off the bat, I think we need to um, make a. Um, sit, a um, motion that we are interested in joining this CCSMM. Okay. And then, Mike, is this, is this true that we would just go to Tom Bremer and then get to, you know, go through Fairfield, um, Fairfield's uh, selectman's office and then join it, right? Well, the first selectman of Bethel is ahead of it, so we can talk to him. But, I mean, uh, uh, according yeah. to the charter that Mike sent out as to what we're supposed to be doing, that's one of the things that we're supposed to be doing. So I don't know if there's much of a debate or much of a question as to whether we should be involved in it. Um, Mike, do you know anything mechanically that we have to do to join? Do we, do we, do we just send them a note that, that our commission voted to join this group or to, to uh, uh, resolve? I'll have to, uh, have to look into it. Okay. With, uh... Michael, I'll follow up with you on that one, okay? 
Miss, you met with some people on this. Did you, uh, you talk to people about this? Is this something that might require the selectmen to uh, vote on, or can we just? I, I don't know. If we can just join. I, yeah, that's yeah, what I, I want to know. That's what I want to know. Some, I think there is some formal process, but I wanted to make sure you all knew what this thing was first, and I sent you out that summary. Right? Did you read yes. it? Yes. Thank you very um, much. Thank you. And and so. Um, I think um, it's it's really pretty straightforward to join it. We're we're joining it late in the game. They were asking for people to join in August. I didn't know anything about it until September, but um, I think this is you know definitely a direction we need to go in. Um, right, Michael? You you've looked into this, right? Yeah, some of the I, uh, things they have might be I, beneficial. I think a summary of the webinar for organics. Did you? I, I sent like like three page summary. I don't know if anybody. Has no, that was very good. I appreciate that. The the thing that we want to be concerned is number one is there a requirement for us to join. Number two, do we do we need to have board of selectmen approval or some other body approval to join? And is there any downstream cost? And number three, what would be our responsibility and or authority once we do join? I, I did look through the three pages that you sent us, and I appreciate that, but I didn't see the answer to those types of questions. So I just want to be sure that, that we're going in with our eyes open and we're not going to join a group that later on we sure. say, gee, what are we doing in Ma this thing? Yeah, Michael, uh, maybe you can back me up. My understanding is that there's no cost and that um, I, apparently you can join at any time, but the sooner the better. These, these people are moving forward quickly. Um, and in terms of um, asking for first selectman's approval, I, I would have to find that information out to you. I, 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 would, I, would, su I would suggest, and I know that they, they're the same times of the essence, but I, I would suggest we table this until the January 11th meeting to get more information. And then if, if we need to get the selectman's approval, we can get it on their, you know, one yep. of their meetings Charlie, and have it approved. I'm Charlie and Hugh, I, can, I, I, can, I, can I interject I, here? Yeah, go ahead, Guy. There, there, is, there is no... Uh, obligation that goes with his sign up. It's simply a participation. You're not right. signing up or obligating the commission or the town to anything. Okay. It's, it's, it's a participation uh, sign up. And um, as a courtesy, I think we should probably let uh, Brenda know, but we're not obligating ourselves or the town to anything. It's, a, it's We're participating. Good. Okay. That's great information, yes. Guy. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah. but, and I, I think if we delay, we're 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 not hurting yeah. them so much as we're missing out ourselves. Right. Yeah. It, it, from what I understand, it's, it's a great information exchange, and it's yeah. uh, new concepts as to how to do things. So, I I suggest that we move forward and and, and let's let's uh, let them know that we want to be participate. Okay. Like I said, I would just be hesitant to make a commitment, even though it is voluntary and there's no money or anything involved, to, to commit the town to something as a commission. Uh, mm -hmm. Mike, yeah. can I make Maybe a motion? Maybe check on this in the next day or two and see if it's okay to go ahead, and then we can get it done. Yeah. I, I, uh, I didn't get the three-page report. Can you send that to me, Misty? Or yeah, somewhere? can I get a copy of that also? I didn't see it. Yeah. yeah oh, Misty, everybody. you sent it out on your email to everybody, didn't you? I, I never yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I got I'll it. send it again. All right, okay. so if I can make a motion that I will contact... Uh, Sorry. Hello? Go ahead. If I, I've got if a, I can make I've a motion... A question. Go ahead. I'm sorry, no. Joe. No, it's Mike. Um, Misty okay. was working with Tom Bremer on this, I believe. Yeah, we weren't really working on it. Tom agreed that we should join this thing as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, so why, if so, she, she's already talked to Tom. Let she can give Tom a heads up. Yeah. And, uh, yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think it's something. You know, I, I obviously the commission needs to know know what this thing is. That's all. I just think you need to know what the yeah. The you know what the guy, this guy again? Can I just interject? I mean, if Tom Bremer has approved this, he's with the first selectman's office. Right. What more would we be doing? Yeah. yeah no, it's just, it's, it's, I'd uh, rather see in writing. We were just trying to get the word out and so that everybody knows what this group is and, um, and that we're planning on trying to join forces. That's all. I mean, yeah, and I, and I agree, and, and Guy, I'm the same page. You, I just don't. I think like a day or two delay isn't going to hurt us at this point. I I do have yeah. this email here, and and in the email, it originally uh, it was sent by Brian Carey to Mike, and I know Brian Carey's got his own problems right now, so I just want to make sure that 
this is all kosher. So I, I just think it, so maybe in you, you talked about maybe you doing it. You know, quick yeah, call the bread. Is, Misty, so. do you, Misty, do you mind if if I make a motion? And and um, I talked to Mr. Brenner and um, let him know that we're going to join and make sure that there's no um, downside. I can talk to him within the next two days. Right, and then right, we get the right. Ball rolling. Talk oh, to the oh. committee. Inter- yes, yes. You. Because because I, I think it's something that we shouldn't waste another month on. Yes. We're, we're behind the eight exactly. ball a little bit, and and yep. I want to be part of it. If um, yep. now here's the here's the other part because Misty in your email there was a Survey Monkey how to sign up. Who would be the person for the – I mean, it's not everybody on the commission would be signing up, correct? It would be like one person? No, but if you wanted to have some interface from the commission, I'm happy to serve that um, as, the, as, the, as the contact person. Right, but you're the one who would fill out the contact number because it only requires one commission member, correct? Right. So you don't want to get That's- flooded with seven or eight people. No, um, no, and we don't, we don't want, we don't want, diff, we don't want multiple points of uh, interface either. We want one person no, that we can go to. Report, um, and, the, and I, I will, you know, I will, I will find out in the next two days, uh, exactly, you know, um, how to join this thing and what, what we, if there's any procedure that we need to be aware of um, with our town, and and uh, I will get back to the commission and report on that. Right. So, Misty, if you get in touch with Brenda or the town attorney and they say it's, it's uh, all right to go in the next day or two, then you can go to the Survey Monkey and you can just fill out the information on behalf of the commission. Right. Okay. I just Is wanted to else? make yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I, I would say I would say the your interface should be Tom Tom Bremer and and right. and get it from him because okay. he's in communication with Brenda all day long. Right. Right. And Mike, okay. you're suggesting we get this in writing, correct? Yeah, I, w- I would think that they should be in writing. Yeah, there should be an email chain. Okay. Okay, just, good. Just Sounds a, good. Okay. Can move on. Right. So there's no motion? You got there it. is a motion. The motion is that Misty is going to uh, so confirm that's with motion. Tom. Okay. Require a motion. I'm sorry? I don't think it requires a motion because Misty's going to go ahead and, and make the phone Wrong. call. Okay. And then she gets the approval that doesn't, you know. I mean, okay. I don't believe it, it requires a, a, uh, a vote. Okay. Mike, urban mining? Do you want me to report on that? Oh, that's sure. you. Misty, you're busy today. Well, I mean, I, I put this, whatever. I, you, I, I was supposed to. That's in the minutes. I was supposed to report on urban mining. Okay. Uh, there's a pilot program, and the HRRA has, um, one, two, three, four, five towns that are currently participating in a pilot program with urban mining to recycle source-separated glass. Bethel, Bridgeport, Newtown, Richfield, and Reading. There's um, a number of towns that are, are going to be doing this but haven't started, Weston, Kent, Derby, Brookfield, and Sherman. And um, urban mining is um, – I haven't gotten – I haven't heard back um, from Jen Heaton Jones, who is in charge of the HRRA pilot project, about how they're planning or um, they're source sort of separating at their transfer station for glass. But it was it's still a bit up in the air. I, my understanding is that they were going to go through Oak Ridge and then go to urban mining. But on the HRRA site, it says that they will actually or separate and take it to urban mining. So I did write a couple of emails. I haven't heard back um, from Patrick Grasso at Urban Mining about um, exactly how the transfer train is working and how successful it is. But this is only a project that's been going on for about one and a half months. Um, but um, I, I, I'm not a chemist, but apparently urban mining makes positive, P-O-Z-Z-O-T-I-V, which is a high performance post, I don't know, this POSOLAN, pos, POSOLAN, and functional industrial filters. It's a concrete additive. Yeah, concrete, concrete additive, which so supposedly makes concrete stronger. And Mike, do, you weren't a part of that meeting, um, I guess, with what you're calling swear off. Where, where they they actually had a meeting with um, Patrick. He came down and talked to them, um, and and apparently um, 
introduced, you know, what he was doing and was trying to get the towns interested in, um, you know, you know, looking at how they might use a product like that also in, um, you know, on their roads. So I no, know met, the concern of the commission. I know the concern ago. of the commission was that they didn't want to support um, somebody who's making products that they um, were concerned about that, but. I think um, they're the only ones that I know in the state of Connecticut, Guy, I, I, unless I'm wrong, that are doing any kind of glass recycling. And um, I think it would be very interesting to follow the progress of these pilot projects and, and see if this is something our town wants to get into because glass is so heavy and it would be great to get it out of the recycle. Can, can I say something about that? Um, yes. There's a difference between glass recycling and glass utilization in a product. Mm -hmm. So I think that has to be clarified. Glass recycling means they make, they reconstitute more glass. This is a, a company that utilizes it in the material that they sell. And uh, would they be buying our glass or how's that going to work? So I, I need to know more information on that. Yeah, well, I, I'm just saying um, I was just doing a little research because yeah. remember the last we talked, we right. were wondering we should have Patrick down here to talk to the commission and just explain the process because it's certainly something that I, I can't do well. But in, um, in any case, um, I think it would be interesting for us to follow the progress of the HRRA group, uh, pilot groups that are, are in, in, in the middle of this progress mm -hmm. uh, process and you know, report on that first, and then. Let's see, can you send us? Some, can you send the commissioners some information on the HRRA group and, and this project? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll send you the link to their site, and okay, um, I'll okay. Send, it has the uh, glass recycling right there. Yeah, we we can discuss it with a little more uh, a little more intelligence and understanding at the next meeting. Right, I was just supposed to report okay. on it today. Mr. Do you know if they, because uh, like, we brought this up before, I remember Mike talking about it, do they, do they take all colored glasses or do they have to separate the white, the brown, the green? My, uh, maybe Guy knows more than I do because he's, he's smarter about this kind of thing, but um, my understanding is that they will take all different colored glass that is clear, um, but it's pretty well laid out on the um, website, the HRRA website about, as to what they can take. Um, but what I'll do for the commission, and I, I, I've been, um, I did write, Jen's pretty good about getting back, but I, I did write her, and I'm waiting to hear back from her on, on how it's going for the pilot projects. So um, I'll report on that, but there are still five towns that are yet up and running, and I wonder why that's happening. So I'll find out about that for you, and also okay. figure out what's the chain of, of, of travel or, you know, how they're getting the, the glass up to Oak, um, from Oak Ridge or the glass straight from the pilot project to um, urban mining, okay? And okay. I'll send you the website for urban mining. That's well. I'll put that down in my notes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Intertwined with that, the working committees on organic and glass recycling, or is that a separate item? Well, I would suggest that our commission, because especially if we get some new members on here, and I think we will, um, I would at, would be very effective if we could um, get into groups that, that want to um, study certain areas. And I think the organics recycling and glass, perhaps um, th these issues. If we if we go into subcommittees, I think we can effectively meet as long as we have one less than half the um, the quorum. We can meet legally as a as a as a small committee group and research things effectively and then make reports. I think that that would be very helpful. We, we have to so, flush that out a little. That has to be flushed out a little bit. I don't know if there's anything for us to vote on right now. No, there's nothing to vote on, but the, right. you could also look in the committees. The committees don't have to be just uh, a commission people. It could also be like high school students and college students who are involved in recycling. Well, also uh, members of the um, – you know, the task force, the sustainable task force could be part of that group. I think any kind of cross-pollination we have with other, um, you know, commissions in, you know, and, and, and groups in our town, it's very helpful. 
anyway. Well, thank you, Misty. Um, anybody, what's, what do we have here on community outreach, Mike? Um, I had that in my notes. I'm not sure. I think uh, Misty was they were involved in uh, community <laughs> outreach. Community outreach. I, I, I feel, I feel like um, we could do a much better job at communicating with our community about, um, you know, how are things going at the dump, or excuse me, at the transfer station. Excuse me. Um, uh, what kinds of things the community is interested in, um, in, in pursuing? You know, there's. There, it seems to me there's a lot of people that are interested in doing composting or organic recycling, for instance. But, you know, we don't really hear about them. We never do surveys. We don't get much feedback from the town. How does the town feel about how the transfer station is working? Is it, is it working well or are there some issues that are, that, you know. So anyway, I think in terms of community outreach, the, the point here was, how can we communicate more effectively with with the town of Fairfield or our community of Fairfield? Um, and you know, this can be done through the website by putting more information in there that's more specific about things that can be recycled. I, you know, things like uh, if we go to Oak Ridge and they're so hard to deal with. They, they rarely call you. But, you know, it's hard to get them to call you back. But hey, I've heard through the yeah. Uh, Chairman, I have to. This is Hugh. I have to leave. I have to go to another meeting. I'm at the fire department, so I'm going to I'm going to sign off right now. All right, um, but you can't sign off after January first. <laughs> what's that? It's your last early sign off. You'll be in charge from here on in. I know. But you can always pass the gavel over to Andy too. <laughs> but it's been a pleasure working with you, my friend. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much, Miss um, Andy. Media interrupt you. I have to go to another meeting at eight o'clock. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys. Have a good night. Do you think that's something you could do, like a survey monkey through the town or something? What do you think, Mike? I'm not sure. What are we, what are we asking? Well, I think there's a lot of people. I mean, I just get a lot of feedback from people that are using the transfer station, and there's some concerns, right? Are there concerns about... Um, the traffic flow also, I mean, I think a lot, possibly may, many of the concerns have been resolved through the, the two new compactors that are now up and running. Um, but, you know, everything from, you know, do you want to do organic recycling? Would you be willing to do glass recycling? Um, we, we don't really, you know, I, I, I'm going to throw this out here, but I don't think there's time to talk about this in, the, in this meeting. But um, if the commission would... Um, I uh, wouldn't mind. I think I would like to get some thoughts together on how we, we may be able to get a better communication pattern going with the town through uh, website, survey monkey, and things like that. I just think we, we could improve our communication with this town. I think that's an excellent idea. We have, um, Mike, you have solid waste and recycling plan? Yeah, I uh, emailed that. I was uh, Misty brought it up, I believe. Tom Bremer asked me if we had a plan from the com the commission, and that this the only plan I found was what I emailed out to the group. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, did everybody get a chance to look at that? Is there any yeah. questions? Yeah, right. Well, yeah, I mean, I I did I did look at it, but I didn't understand it. I mean, it it seems like it defines the different groups that are doing different things, but. And who's going to do what? But is this a plan, or is this just establishing? Yes, yeah, so this is what a plan was—a plan for the uh, department and the Solid Waste and Recycling Commission. Yes, okay. the whole plan is basically the regulations. That's how you know. Huh. So. Well, does anybody have any have questions it. about the plan? Mike, what's the solid waste, in the, uh, solid waste advisory board? I mean, isn't that really what we do? No, that used to be SWAB. Now it's the Greater Bridgeport Interlocal. Solid waste advisory board was our uh, in Square Rock. Yeah, that and was, so uh, who South, is, we, are Southwest you a member of that? Or operating. Or yeah, somebody? we're a member of the uh, the Bridgeport Interlocal. If anybody wants to, to get on. 
email um, email list and go to any of their meetings. They're open meetings, and the next one is on Thursday, the 10th at 10 o'clock, the Zoom meeting, and you can just sign up to it through the town. Anyway, whatever. Mike, first selectman. Mike, yeah. Mike? Yes. On this uh, form, it says, uh, uh, in the 1980s, the, the Fairfield landfill had reached its uh, permit, 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 permit capacity. Yeah. During this me, during this, what is, Time. during this me and agreement. Can you correct that? What does that say? Where is this? Uh, in well, he's talking this about 40 years ago. It talked about in the mid-80s how the landfill reached its permit yeah, right. In the second paragraph, it says, during this me meeting, during this, what is that? What is it? Oh during this time. This. Second paragraph. During, during this time, okay, an agreement was made with CRA. Okay. All right. That's not, which was a quasi-government agency. All right. So that was done then. Okay. So yeah. the plan is to continue this, obviously. Yeah. Basically, okay. The, okay. Uh, the only... The swab has changed now to the Greater Bridgeport Interlocal. Right, right. Okay, I see And they, they do the that. trash okay. and the recycling. All right. I remember talking about that. So do we think this plan needs to be updated? Is that what you're saying, Misty? I mean, obviously, well, the swab isn't there anymore, so that would have to be changed. I've just never seen a plan like this. I don't... Um, the, the regional... Uh, I don't know. I mean, Guy, do you have any thoughts on this? Do you have any input? I don't really. Okay. I, I, I got this and I wasn't, I just couldn't understand how it was a plan. It's defined. That's all I, refined. that's all I had left over from, well, it's, all I had in my records. Well, what I read into this plan is just a continuation of what's going on and some of the new yeah. changes. That's it. That's plan is to continue what they're doing this uh, when we add other uh, organizations to it that's not in this but that's something we can discuss in the future if we're going to go urban mining or the HRRA group or something okay that would be something that we just add to this yeah well, List. that's okay. something Mike you can put in oh okay but, but we could I think we can uh, discuss that in the January and see where we are with that if we're going to accept that's those groups being part of those groups or participating in those groups. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's okay, the plan so too. Okay, so we look at this plan in January? Yeah. All right. Um, and then the last thing you have on here, Mike, is compactor operation. Like I said, well, I was... We already, talk, we already talked about that in, in the old business. Right. Yeah, that's right. The compactor delay, so we basically, that, that's everything Michael, is right uh, now. It's, it's fine. Michael, yes. how, are you measuring, how are you measuring the success of this? these two compactors measuring the success yeah yeah how do you measure the metrics of success yes like I mean how do you determine if this is working well or not working well I mean what are you what are you looking at here for well if the garbage isn't piling up which it, it has sometimes when we get busy they're they're processing it and there's no overflow or it's working the way they should be working okay so that's and I had conversations it. with the people who actually do all the work over there, and a lot of guys, and they all told me that everything's running smoothly. Um, they were all very happy with the new system. Yep, and so the only overtime would be at the end of this month for Christmas. Right? Yeah, probably <coughs> Christmas and maybe New Year's Eve or New Year's Day route. I mean, it's day after New Year's, I'm not sure. Are you getting a lot of mattresses in there? And we get some now and then. Okay. All right. Does anybody have anything else on their new uh, new business or unfinished business? Are you taking comments from members of the public? Oh, no. hey, doing. It's, no, it's this Becky the, All right. Well, the public. This I gave the numbers out. This there is no public comment on this. It's supposed to be emailed like I sent out in the agenda. Right, right. I saw that. Yeah, I, I didn't hear. Because this was a special meeting, I didn't hear about this until just today, so I didn't get a chance oh, to email. Oh, sorry. But, um, 
Um, Charlie, before we move on, it's Guy. Um, I have a, a one more item under new business, if I could. That's fine. Something, I, it's more a reminder to Misty. Uh, Misty, I thought you wanted to introduce the idea of subcommittees. Yeah, we did. We discussed she just talked that. about that when she was yeah. talking about the... Uh... the working committees on organic and glass recycling. And... Right. Yeah. Okay. And then... I just, I'm sorry. I guess I, I was looking at it more structurally than just those. I didn't know if we needed to... Yeah, okay, never mind. I got it. But is there anything, Guy, that you want to add at this point? No, I just wanted – I thought that uh, it was more a thing that we had to approve just ongoing, that we would have subcommittees and that they could meet independently of the general meeting. I, that part I didn't hear. Okay. Um, if, you, if you meet, two commissioners yeah. meet about something or more, you I think that, that. Qu that qualifies as a meeting. Yeah, you can't do you it can't. like no, that. Yeah. I, no, I, just, I, I don't believe that's correct, and that's yeah, what I, I wanted to talk about. Only if the right. subcommittees are approved by the uh, commission. Right, well, but that's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah, but we so don't, I'm we not don't. saying we could do it on our own. Yeah, we could do that at the next meeting if uh, yeah. we agree. Yeah, that's fine. Probably at the next meeting, if people have thoughts on what those subcommittees should be, then we right. should make sure that's an item on the yeah. agenda. Yeah, make, right? make a motion to introduce that, and then we can vote on it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. okay, so I entertain a motion to discuss subcommittees at the next me meeting. So right move. First. Okay. Who? Guy. Guy's, uh, guys uh, making the motion. Who's going to second it? Andrew. I second. I'll put Misty down. Well, I should say I'm Misty and, uh, and Josephine will put Misty down. And uh, okay. all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, one more thing. Okay, yep. sorry. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Mike. Um, I didn't mean to jump in on Becky, but that's that was I got strict letter or email from, you know, the this is no general public as opposed to uh an email. They're not supposed to talk on our meetings, on these meetings. They're supposed well, to email. What would be really good what would be really good is if if um, you know, obviously, somebody who's vested like Becky and, and, and know so much, um, she can get involved in one of our subcommittees, right? We, we can vote on well, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Also, uh, this an open commission position, too. So, you know, anybody who's on this call who wanted to ask questions and didn't get to ask them, you can maybe apply and become a commissioner. Mm -hmm. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, yeah, one open. there's two. Well, no, Actually, Tim, the... Tim's taking the open spot, and then I'm leaving, so somebody's taking my spot. Yeah, Mike Passowitz. Oh, Mike's coming on? Yeah. Oh, so you'll have a full commission. Okay. All right, anything else oh, on there? Can... Unfinished, unfinished business. No, that's it. I got to go. <laughs> All right, I just want to recap quickly. So we, okay. we talked about, we approved the minutes. We went through the recycling prices. Okay. Uh, we had the election of officers. That all went well. We had who the officer are. We uh, approved the commission meeting dates. Uh, we're looking into the CCSMM. Missy's going to look at that, and uh, hopefully in a day or two she'll be able to join. We just want to get uh, – if you could report back, Hi, Misty, uh, yep. that you got that permission and you joined. Uh, Urban Mining, we're going to look into HRRA. Misty's going to send out the minutes to everybody or the, the information yep. to everybody. We're going to also look into the organic uh, glass recycling and community outreach. Uh, we're going to look and see maybe doing Survey Monkey or some kind of an outreach to the committee, to the maybe a mailing yeah. to the town uh, folks to see if they have any ideas on improving what we do. Solid Waste and Recycling Plan is going to be updated and will be presented back at the January meeting. And then subcommittees are going to look into those, and that's, uh, they're going to talk about it in January 11th. How that's is the plan going to be updated? Uh, well, the page that you sent out, Mike, just that you have, like, the Solid Waste Advisory Board, it's not in effect anyway. We just change right, the name so or can, whatever. I'll change. I'll just change the different uh, the names on that. Right. I would just see if Swab anything here. Swear Rock. Made it. And that probably should be on the okay. – is that something that should be on the website? Um, I guess. Yeah. It should be on the website. Yeah. That's another thing. We really have to look at the all website right. make sure all our minutes from last year are on there because it was, was outdated for a while. Um, right. All right, I'll entertain a motion to close. I make a motion to close. 
go to close. Hey, wait, second. before we do that, Charlie, just yeah, go ahead, guys. I think on behalf of everybody in the commission, just a very big thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Appreciate that, Thank everybody. You, Good Thank luck, you, Charles. All the best. Thank you. Do I have a second to close so I can get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Complication. Right. I got Joe's that made Joe. the motion. Who's second? Second, right. Missy. Okay. Listen, anybody, I'm, av- I'm available. If you ever need me for any reason, you can always contact me by email or call. Have a nice <laughs> holiday season, folks. You too. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.